everybody, I'm Randall Ray and welcome back to my channel for another update in the Reclaim Container Workshop. Um, it's been about two and a half weeks since my last update. Um, I did recently uh, release this video here, it's my second project video. I'll put the card net below, uh, above and uh, we'll talk about that here in a second. But, what's been going on? So, basically the last couple weeks, um, I wanted to get a video out. What, a week ago now, so I'm, I'm a week late. This is going on the third week that I'll be getting ready. Anyway, so basically since Hurricane Irma, I've been collecting some lumber, and I finally got a chance to get it milled up about a week ago. Normally, I would record the vlog and edit, you know, sometime over the weekend, but because the process of having the logs milled up and then stacking the logs uh, took so long, Basically, uh, the majority of it was, all of it was milled on a Saturday. The majority of it was stacked on that Saturday. Um, I had a little bit of help kind of off and on, and uh, we got probably a little more than half of it stacked up. Then Sunday, I spent the majority of the day stacking the rest of the, the, rest of the material. So, I didn't get a chance to edit, didn't get a chance to get the vlog out. So, here, here we are, again, two and a half weeks later, and uh, yeah. So, let's, let's, get, let's get caught up. Uh, basically, like I said, had a gentleman come in. He's a local so Sawyer. He's about uh, an hour away in Fort Myers. He came down, has a portable mill. I want to say it was a uh, Timber King 2000. It's either 2000 or 2200. I can't remember, but you'll see it in one of the uh, clips here. It's an awesome machine. Just pulled behind a truck, clearly. Like I said, portable. So he pulled it down. I loaded from for the most part I loaded the logs using one of our skid steers and he milled them we removed them off and then again stacked them up the whole process is pretty cool uh, the initial thing we did was took one of my smaller oak logs he milled all of that up into uh, one by one strips to use as stickers to stack them in between the boards if you're familiar with the uh, process of milling and stacking lumber you want to kind of have a space for airflow so he actually took a log that I was going to probably end up using for, you know, scraps or uh, firewood, something like that. Used that and utilized it, so that was very cool. Um, all in all, I think I had about eight, log, eight oak logs and two Australian pine logs. And uh, we got them all milled up in, over the course of about six, seven hours, something like that. Yeah. Um, but... Very cool process. I would load them up, he would mill them. I'd stack them, or me and a few friends would stack them. Um, yeah, it's very cool. Uh, let's see. All the, all the logs are from Hurricane Irma, either from cleanup jobs or were down during the storm. So basically, if we had a job removing, you know, getting cutting up a tree or something like that, if it was a nice, you know, a nice tree or a nice large enough tree, I would bring it home. Uh, had a, one that was actually kind of funny. We got a job to remove a stump, and we saw the stump, and it was probably 36 to 40 inches across. It was a nice, nice size oak for Florida. I mean, if you, if any of you guys are from Florida, or been to Florida, you know, lumber-wise, we're kind of scarce, and the oaks we do have are fairly small compared to up north. So it's a fairly large old oak. It was in the front yard of this property in a community, and. Um, we removed the stump, and I got curious to what happened to the log, so I started looking around, and in the scrap pile on the side of the street is a, I want to say, seven feet, eight foot long log, just massive oak for Florida. Like I said, 40 inches across, beautiful log, and it was, basically it was the base from where they cut it off to the stump all the way to the very beginning of the crotch. So I got some nice grain up near the crotch, got all that milled up, I also found one of the limbs coming off, which again was still, you know, 30 inches plus. Um, had that milled up as well. That limb actually had some termite damage. Got all the termites out. Got all the gunk out. Got to kill all the termites. Sprayed it down with a, in a um, termite killer before I stacked it, and got it that way. But with all the termite damage, I think it's going to be pretty cool with some epoxy fill. <laughs>
said, just released this video. This, is, this vlog's going to be coming out a few days later, so card will be up here on the top someplace. Um, you can go check it out. I want to do something a little bit unique. I want to do kind of put something on the walls. I do intend on building some shelves and hanging some tools, but recording these vlogs and editing them, I realize that there's not really much going on behind me. It's just a lot of white. So I love the white. I think it it looks good in here, but uh, it was getting a little. It was getting to be a little plain. So I think this will uh, brighten the place up or uh, spice the place up a little bit. Basically, I took a sheet of birch plywood, um, made a backdrop, painted on some geometric designs, and then cut out the logo using the jigsaw. I would have normally used a scroll saw, however, I don't have one. Probably, probably would have been much easier, but uh, it is what it is. You can check out the full written post in the description below, or like I said, watch the video. So, very easy process, but... Um, Something unique to me. Got the purple to match the floor. Yeah. Uh, Work-wise, we've been steady. We haven't been busy. We haven't been slow, but we have been working. Basically, after the holidays, it kind of slows down, kind of dips down a little bit for a few weeks. It is starting to get busier again this week. We can see it on the uh, horizon. We're actually slammed this entire week, so it should be the incline. We should be steady again. My last vlog update, you saw we brought in dirt, kind of spread that around a, um, a pool that they've removed too much from, filled all that in. I, since then, we went back, did the deck grade, and then went back and did the actual final. I uh, did another final for a home um, on a lake. That day was kind of brutal. It was for Florida. Get, mind you, I know some of you aren't in Florida, so you, you're going to laugh at this, but... For Florida, it was pretty cold. It was uh, in the 40s, and it was raining, just just like a drizzle. It was it was actually the day that it snowed in North Florida. So, it doesn't snow in Florida, guys. It was cold here for this Floridian. <laughs> um, so it was kind of a miserable day. Anyways, we got it done. Moved on. Uh, we did another job, finished up removing the removal of some trees. Uh, they fallen over and taken out a fence, removed that. And then uh, me and my brother kind of shuttled dirt. I brought dirt to him that were behind the house. And he kind of spread it out to where a brick pad, or yeah, like a brick patio and a pathway is going to be. So we got that done. Um, as of recording this today, we removed a few trees that were and a walk path behind a home and then I went in and kind of they just had a, a fence replaced so we kind of went in and put some dirt along the fence and made a a spot that's going to be a, a future garden to kind of block the uh, neighbor's view. I think that's pretty much it for me though guys. I want to apologize for not getting a vlog out last week. I want to try to be more steady but basically with all the everything going on with the Sawyer and the sawmill Normally I would, like I said, I would edit and, you know, create the vlog over the weekend, post it up the first couple days of the week, but I didn't really have enough time, kind of, everything kind of got in the way, so it's been pushed off and here we are. Um, yeah, so trying to get back to being steady, should expect another update here in a week. In the meantime, go check out this video. Uh, as for the next project. I've got a number of ideas. Um, it's either going to be a small furniture piece using the remainder of the birch plywood or something even smaller, maybe another sign. But um, if I do that, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise, so I'm going to keep that uh, to myself for the moment. Anyways, that's pretty much it for me. Uh, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe. If you don't like this video, tell me in the comments below, whatever. Um, I'm, like I said, I, I've said in past videos, I'm kind of new to this. I am still incredibly new to this. Uh, I have been making more content, but I'm always looking for feedback. So if you've got any, any suggestions, tips, or anything like that, go ahead and uh, comment below. Message me. You can find my email in my, in my uh, about section. Or DM me on Instagram. You can find me on Instagram at Randall underscore Ray. You can also follow, just follow me on Instagram in general for some kind of behind the scenes. Um, but yeah, just let me know. Looking for tips, guys. Um, but that's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you next time.